What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? And welcome to a very, very special video. Today, we are going to be doing a FIFA 18 foot draft using World Cup stickers. Instead of getting a selection up for which player I should be getting in my team on FIFA, I am going to open up a sticker pack and choose the best player from my squad to go into the team and see how much of an insane team we can build just using players from the World Cup and just using players from the stickers. Now, you guys might have seen that I did a sponsor video with Panini a little while back for their app where you can collect the stickers on the well, on your mobile instead. If you don't want to go out and buy absolutely tons of packs of stickers like me because you are a massive nerd who was obsessed with collecting these on your kid, I've got myself the sticker book. It is currently blank and I need to get to work on sticking all of the stuff in. But before that, we obviously need to open some packs and get some players to go in it. If you want to be like me, you obviously can just go to the shop and get yourself some stickers and a sticker book and get cracking on completing the book. But if you want to be a little bit more 21st century, I will pop a link down in the description to the Panini app where you can go down there you can grab the app and you can basically do it all online. You can still trade with your mates. I think it actually turns it into fantasy football as well. So you've actually got something to do with your stickers other than just putting them in the book. You can like, as the World Cup plays, you choose which players you want to use, pop them in your team and see whether you can get the most points out of all of your mates in the league. What's up everybody, Future Andy here. And I just want to let you guys know that you should definitely go ahead and download that app because I've teamed up with Panini to bring you guys a very special exclusive contest. If you go on the Panini app, there's going to be an AJ3 contest. You can join it, it needs a password. The password is AJ3 as well, so it's super, super easy to remember. You can go get yourself joined in right now once you've downloaded the app and got your starter squad. Make, make sure you've got some good players. I am going to be bringing Diamond on, so you're going to need something good. It's going to run from the 1st and the 2nd of July, so it's a two-day tournament. On them two days, you can join now, get yourself all set up and ready to go. Top 10 people will win some goodies, free coins, free packs, all of that good stuff on the Panini World Cup app. So go and download it, like I just said in the past part of this video, the link is down in the description. All the info is on there. Get involved, come join the contest, and I will see you guys over there. Back to the video. But me being a little bit old and being sentimental, I am very old school and I absolutely love opening the packs, seeing what stickers we've actually got, going through and putting them into the book. I'm still yet to ever complete a book from any of the World Cups or anything ever, I think. I never got enough stickers when I was a kid and when I've gone out and gone crazy, I've never got around to sticking the hundreds of millions of stickers that we end up getting. And even if I did, there's probably going to be a few that I need to swap with people. But we're just going to get cracking with this and jump in. We'll go 11 starting positions and 5 subs that can be subbed in. Let's see what we're going to get in sticker pack number 1 and see how good this can be. So, we are starting ourselves off with a Jao Mario. So he's pretty decent. We've got ourselves a Jao Mario. Behind him, Jalal Hosseini. Okay, I'm not going to pretend that I know who that is. Genki. This is going to be difficult with some of the crazy nations that are coming into here. Dmitry Kombarov from Russia. We've got the Serbian team, so I could just do a whole Serbian foot draft, but we, I think we'll have to go with Jal Mario. We've got the European man, Portugal. Potential to go all the way in the World Cup after their performance at the Euros. They weren't the most they weren't the most convincing team, but of course they did go on and win it, even though I think they came third in their group. And yeah. Oh, okay, we've started with a good one. We've got Thomas Lamar from France in our next round. We've got Antonio Rukavana from Serbia. Karim El Mahadi, okay. Oh, El Mahadi, sorry. Idrissa Ghana Gay. Oh, we can't not pick him. And Carry Arneson. This is where it gets difficult. I mean, I'm always happy to see Idrissa Gay. If we're building this on FIFA, I suppose as well, we can go for Thomas Lamar's team of the season, whereas Gay's only got an inform. Feels really bad. It does feel really bad. But team of the season, Thomas Lamar can drop into our squad. So that's a, that's a decent start. I mean, they don't link to each other because they're doing this on normal foot rather than on the World Cup mode, which is a little bit annoying. And we maybe need to get ourselves a Kante or something like that to link the two of them together, which would be pretty bloody good. But next pack, we've got Abdullah Al Mayouf. I mean, I am famous for not being able to pronounce people's names and this is not started very well. Oh, okay. We've got Gelson Martins from Portugal, which is a nice link. We've got Salam Aldasari. Oh my god. Now we've got to go for this. We've just got Luis Suarez, which is absolutely sick. And we've got Camille Glick as well, who's a very solid centre back to link. We could, I mean, yeah, okay. Screw chemistry. Luis Suarez, you're going up front, mate. So it's, it's, been, a, it's been a solid start, actually. I am liking this. I'm looking forward to getting all these guys once I've used them in my team. 
getting them all into Mr. Oh, I've got a shiny. We've got our first shiny. There we go. Very, very nice. We've got ourselves the Spanish badge. Beautiful. We've got Bailey Wright from Australia. Wouldn't mind a little bit of Tim Kettle, actually. Kara Imbodge. Is I assume I pronounce his name. He plays for Anderlecht in the Belgium League. So again, he doesn't really link and he wouldn't really link with Gay anyway. Well, he would, but he wouldn't link with anybody else. Takashi Usami in the... He, okay, he plays for Dusseldorf in the Bundes... This is perfect. There we go. None of that. The Luis Suarez is Uruguayan strike partner. Who even cares who else we've got in this pack? There we go. Cavani. What an absolute deadly duo we have got ourselves there. This is turning out very, very nicely. We're rocking the default FIFA 442 as well. Cavani's going to be getting his head on stuff. He's going to be knocking it down. Suarez can be finishing it. This is beautiful. Next up, we've got Youssef Mas... Why, why can I not pronounce anybody's names? I'm just like the most typical English person in the world. Albin Ekdal. Adolfo Machado. That's a pretty cool name. This is a... Roston on the... Oh, okay, it's a it's the logo for one of the host cities. That's pretty cool. I mean, we can't put it in our team on FIFA, but it's pretty cool. We got Hurtado from a, oh, from the Portuguese League. I know he is Peruvian, but we could maybe somehow get across to him with Jao Mario. I mean, we're struggling with Thomas Lamar. Are we back to the start? We are. We're going to have to go for now for Hurtado. He's Portuguese League. And he is a centre mid like John Mario or he's a cam. But they're still the only links we've got on our team so far are Suarez and Cavani, which is kind of annoying. The links are sort of there, like I said. Portuguese nation to Portuguese league, but they're not quite the right way around. To be honest though, when you've got team of the season Suarez and team of the season Lamar up front, doesn't really matter that much. We could even be a little bit cheeky and change our formation if we wanted to. But let's just see what sort of rating we can get out of this squad. We've got another Senegalese, man. Kadim Indai. It's not the same Indai who plays in... Is it for Stoke? Or is that a different one? I can't remember. There's a Senegalese guy who plays for Stoke. I don't really know. We've got Elderson. Oh my god, I'm not even going to try. We have got Subasic. Alright, so that's a very solid option to go and go. Granite Xhaka. I mean, I'm... Yeah, okay. That's more more like it with regards to chemistry. We've got ourselves Vladimir Stokovic. And we're back to the start. I'm going to have to go with Xhaka, aren't I? So, we may have to... We'll just pop them here for now. And then we can switch them to around which puts Xhaka next to Jao Mario and Hurtado playing right mid off chemistry. I mean, he was, he was off chemistry anyway. He's out of position now, but it's a that's a decent basis for our team. It's not too bad. We've got a couple of links in there now, which is good. What we do need, though, is some defenders, because obviously when you do this actually on FIFA, it's very much tailored to the position, whereas I'm just sort of going through it and getting random positions as we go. So we started with, I keep getting like Tunisian players and Saudi Arabian players who I've got absolutely no idea. I think, what's the KSA League? Is that the Saudi Arabian League? I think it is. So I've got absolutely no, I know he, that guy's on FIFA, but I've got no idea about him. Bartos, okay, okay, let's move on. We've got a man who looks very much like Emre Chan, but is not Emre Chan, so we won't be putting him in our team. We've got Omar Horsawi. Okie dokie, thank you Mario Goethe for saving this pick. I mean, you don't really fit anywhere. We're probably going to have to just pop you over here and put you down on the bench for now. But, I mean, at least he's actually someone that we can recognise. And he's from Europe as well, actually. If we were building this on the World Cup mode, we'd be able to get a very nice European-themed midfield going on. And I suppose Suarez and Cavani get a strong link to each other up front as well, which is kind of annoying. But... We've got another, we could have built a whole Japanese team, I think, to be honest with you. I haven't seen a single... Oh, now we're talking. Okay, I mean, I was literally just about to complain that we haven't seen a single Uruguayan player apart from Suarez and Cavani to go with them. We've got the whole bloody Uruguayan squad, but that doesn't help us. However, as well as Mikado, as well as our Japanese dude, as well as Kazari, we have got ourselves none other than Hyung Min Sun. Arguably the greatest card on the whole of FIFA with his team of the season. So if we pop him on the bench and then swap him out for Lamar, we've got ourselves a very, very nice Premier League midfield and Hurtado. All right. Realistically, now what we need, we need defenders is what we need. We need some Premier League defenders. Ideally, a Danny Rose to get a strong link to Sun. We could do it for a right mid. I mean, we could put Lamar over there. We could play Goethe over there off chemistry, but it's not really the best idea. With it being on normal foot, neither of them would link to Xhaka and stuff anyway. Could do with Mustafi for a strong link to Xhaka because obviously Koscielny isn't going after getting injured. Oh, we've got ourselves another shiny. We've got a set of Brazilian legends, which is pretty bloody cool. 
That is very nice. This is the Brazil team from 1958 with none other than Pele chilling right in the center. So I think as well, you can collect iconic World Cup players as well. Each week, I think they put new ones into the packs. So I've got a Brazilian 1958 team with Pele chilling in the middle. I'm pretty sure they went on to win the World Cup, which is why they... Okay, here we go. Now we're talking. Never mind Pele. We have got ourselves Antoine Griezmann of all people. Now this changes things. So we're going to have to switch this team up a lot, but I'm thinking chemistry here. So what I'm thinking is... We bring, obviously, I mean, let's have a look who else we've got. I mean, they're probably not going to go into the team. We've got the England team, which is pretty nice. We've got Iheanacho, but sorry, guys. We've got Griezmann. So, Griezmann comes onto the bench. Griezmann then swaps with Cavani. He comes in up there. We move him to the opposite side. We put Sun over at left mid, at uh, right mid. Sun's left mid card at right mid. A little bit off chemistry. And we bring in Thomas Lamar to link to Griezmann as well. And that should, I mean, I am doing this on the fly, but that should Give me a lot more chemistry actually on FIFA as well, which is very, very nice. Let's just get... We need some bloody defenders. Stop giving me sick attackers that I can't... Not, oh my god, it's just done it again. We've just got Mohamed Salah. <laughs> the man of the hour. How can we not take him and put him at right mid? He'll get chemistry more than Sun. We got... I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. We got Lindelof. Of course, of Manu. He's a, I mean, he's a centre-back, isn't he? Do we actually bin off Mo Salah and pick Lindelof? Peace check. He's an actual defender as well. That guy's a goalie. We don't. I mean, is this the most ridiculous comparison of all time? Do we take Mohamed Salah for our foot draft? Or do we take Lindelof? Salah's injured anyway. We've got ourselves. I said that is the stupidest thing I've ever done. Salah is so good on FIFA as well. But we need some Premier League defenders. Lindelof, you're in the team, mate. All right. We're getting somewhere. God. Kind of. <laughs> yes, we are absolutely getting somewhere. Come on, stickers. We've got ourselves... An, well, we've got a shiny, which is pretty cool. What's this? The Portugal badge. Very, very nice. Pop that in the cool pile. Victor Moses is going to be going into the team. I can almost guarantee it because we've got stadiums. We've got Busquets, who's pretty good, but... Busquets. Busquets, not Busquets. Moses, mate. Get yourself in at right back. Grab, my, grab myself your second in form. Because you are an absolutely sick fullback on this game. And in real life as well, to be fair. He's been playing really good. All right. Not too shabby. Chemistry. We're still struggling. I mean, it's not going to be the most high-rated foot draft ever. But we've just got ourselves... Actually, actually, we've just got ourselves Maro and Fellaini. Who we could bring in for Jao Mario. Get a strong link to Lindelof. I'm thinking. And I'm thinking this could actually work. We've got Sean. We've got the Columbia team. Got Big Lear as well. It would be very nice to go into our squad. Yeah, we're going to have to go for Fellaini. Yeah, so if we bring Fellaini in for Jao Mario, he's not going to get full chemistry yet because he's got a dead link to Griezmann and Lamar. But when we get out with the centre-back, we can swap them over. And if he links to Sun and gets the strong link, he's only got a dead link to Suarez. So that'll actually give someone the first person nine chem. Providing we get a centre-back from the Prem as well. Victor Moses will get full chem. We could do with maybe a French League left back. A French French League left back to get a strong link to Lamar. And that would give them two full chemistry. Which would be very, very nice. We've just got a goalkeeper that we could pick up. But isn't really very helpful to us. We've got Ochoa. Of course, absolute hero from the last World Cup. Got himself a big money move. And he's now playing for Standard Liège in the Belgium League. Which is pretty cool. Alberto Rodriguez from Colombia. We've got the Mexican team. The amount of... Oh, interesting. Okay. Roberto Firmino. I mean, we've got Griezmann and Suarez up front. Do you really want a Firmino as well? I'm not so sure. With the Iceland team. There isn't really much else choice, to be honest with you. Do we just go Firmino for the bench? Or do you grab Ochoa because we haven't actually picked a goalie yet? I think I'll grab Ochoa. I'll grab Ochoa. I'll pop him in there just because we haven't got a goalkeeper. There's so not many positions left to go. There is actually seven substitute spots in a foot draft, not six. So we've got... We've only got five spots left. We need a centre-back, a left-back, and a goalkeeper that actually helps us out. So, we've got a Nazi that is not very helpful. Ooh, Shinji Okazaki. I mean, I'm saying it, ooh, as if, like, ooh. It's more just, ooh, I actually know who he is. He's not going in the team. <laughs> we've got Guiliano, again, a nice Brazilian player, but really not going to get into the team. Brozovic, Trezeguet <laughs> in trip. Wait, wait. Surely not. Surely they aren't related. I mean, they look kind of similar. I'm having a look on Wikipedia, and I don't think it is. I don't even know if it actually looks like him. Well, that's what I just imagine Trezeguet looking like. We've got 
Wait, are we back to the start? Oh no, we've got to pick one of these though. I mean, I'm going to pick Brozovic because he's got a left mid card and he can stick him left back. But I'm clutching. I am clutching at straws here. Four packs. Yes! Thank God for that. We've just got ourselves John Stones. I've never been so happy to see John Stones in my life. Paulinho. Keita Bali, the team that we could have built from Senegal and from Brazil recently is... <gasps> John Stones. I was very excited for you, mate, but you're going in the bin because you've just got Thibaut Courtois. Thank you very much, Thibaut. Get yourself in the squad. Get Ochoa on the bench right. Oh, if only I could pick two from one pack. We could stick Courtois in. We could get Stones in goal. In goal? Stones at centre-back. And we'd actually be looking very, very nice. But we are still clutching the straws. We still need a centre-back. Please. Come on. Hit me with another John Stones. No. 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 No! <laughs> Matweedy, are you kidding me? That's actually a... Could that actually work? Kind of. I mean, I'm going to take him and I'm going to put him on the bench. And we'll have a fiddle around with this team on FIFA and see if we can actually get it. A bit more chem with a link to Lamar and Griezmann and Brozovic maybe could give us some chemistry. Two packs. One for the bench. One for centre-back. Please give me... Premier League centre. I got Danilo Pereira. He is, of course, a centre back with his for birthday card. Oh, thank God! We have saved it at the very end. Davis and Sanchez get into the team, my son. Right. We've got ourselves a Spurs centre back to go in there. Right. We need a miracle to rescue this team. We need a French left back from the French League to give us any semblance of chemistry. And looking at the draft as well, we get a little bit of extra chemistry by taking, swapping Fellaini and Xhaka and Lindelof and Sanchez around to get the strong link to get Fellaini onto full chem. It does take him off full chem, bring him between the end, but it's still more than we had anyway because of the triangle of French. It puts, of course, Griezmann onto full chem. Fellaini's almost there. Sanchez is almost there. We've got a massive mess of a pile of loads of stickers. We've also got Kiss the Packs. Pop this one back in, take a random one, and pray for our left back. 88 rated, 67 chem, can we do it? I've got absolutely no idea, Arrows. it's Aran's goalkeeper. We've got, I swear I got this, oh, I don't know, maybe I'm just making it up. I've seen so many players, we've got Subasic. Have we seen Subasic twice? I think we have. Yusuf and Nezri. We've got Eric Deer, actually, okay. This could be interesting. Is he a centre, he's a CDM though, isn't he? Or is he a centre back on FIFA? And then that's the last of it. I mean, I think I'm just going to have to take it, to be honest with you. Stick a centre-back at left-back and just see how it's going to go. So if we get Brozovic onto the bench, if we bring Eric Dier playing left-back into the centre here. I mean, it's not the best. It is 88 rated, which is pretty cool. But it really isn't the best, is it, to be honest with you. I, we can't, 4 4 2 is a hard formation to build a team in. Sun does get a strong link to Eric Dier if we do it that way. Ooh, okay, there's 77 by bringing in Jean Mario as well. 79 by bringing back in Jack. And we're still 88 rated, to be fair, which is pretty decent. And then if only, like on the old FIFAs, nation links counted for more than league links, we might be able to get some chemistry going on up there. I feel like we've done all right. I mean, we've had a little bit of a merit at the end. We sort of built a Premier League team with Eric Dier left back and Jean Mario right mid. And then we've got... Fellaini and Xhaka in the centre. Sun obviously on the left with full chem, which is pretty good. And we've sort of just got the Uruguayans up front. Usually when you do a foot draft, you would have five more guesses. And I am very tempted to just quickly open five packs while we do that outro. And just see whether there's anyone that could possibly slot into... I mean, I've just got Sergio Ramos. We've just got Gabriel Jesus. All right, we're doing it. We're doing it. Gabriel Jesus, you're going up front, mate. There we go. See you later. All right, we've got Gabriel Jesus up front. We need one Premier League striker. I can't believe we've just benched Cavani and we're probably going to bench Suarez if we can. We've just got the 1982 Italy team. We've got, okay, there we go. That was easy. It didn't even take two. And we've also got Modric. But screw Modric. This is FIFA. We've got Musa. Right. I've gone full Atani and I've built what is literally a Premier League sweat team in the foot draft. We've kind of butchered the rating, but when we've brought Cavani and Suarez onto the bench and put the high-rated players over there, it's not done us too badly. 91 rated, though, with 87 chemistry. It's not too shabby, especially considering that we've done it purely from sticker packs. I mean, we have gone and ended up with a full Premier League team. 
and not everyone is in the right position, but I'm going to claim a victory anyway because that is a lot more difficult than I thought it was going to be. If you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know down in the comment section what you would rate this squad out of 10. Do you reckon you could do better? Have you had better pack luck in your stickers than you have had? Let me know down in the comment section. I, of course, need to go and stick all these bad boys in the sticker book now, which is going to be... But most of the fun, to be honest with you. I mean, I do love opening the packs and seeing them. After playing video games or whatever all day, I'll be like tuned in at work or at TV just to take like half an hour out and just like go through and organize it. It's pretty good. It's nice and chill. Let your brain switch off a little bit and just enjoy getting your collection done and sorting all that. So I am a bit of an heirs and enjoy doing that. So that is what we're going to be sorting out. Let me know the best ones that you guys have got. I still yet to see Ronaldo. I mean, I've got absolutely millions of them. I haven't seen Ronaldo. We've got Suarez, Salah, Sun is pretty good. Salah's probably the biggest one that we've got so far, maybe Suarez. Let me know if you guys have managed to get Messi and Ronaldo down in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video. Like I said, link down in the description to the app if you want to go and check that out as well. But I am personally very, very gassed for the sticker book as well. Thanks very much for watching. I think I've just said that. I'm just going to go now. I've got stickers on the brain and I can't even speak English. I'll see you guys next time.